Welcome friends to another r slash entitled parents video. Our first story of the day is by Tony G 2007 entitled aunt tries to steal my PS4. This is a story about my aunt that ruined my day last summer when I was 12. I'm 13 now. First, some backstory. My family comes from the country of Croatia and we all live pretty close to each other. Except for my aunt who lives about 500 kilometers away from us. Every summer they come to the Adriatic Sea and they stay at my grandma's house. It's around 15 kilometers from us. Last summer, they came with plans to stay there for a month, like always. So on to the story. This happened around a week into their stay. I was staying at grandma's house for a few weeks so I could be with my cousin, who's a normal person unlike his mom. So I brought my PlayStation 4 with me. Me and my cousin were playing some games mostly Minecraft, and here comes the shiny Karen that I call my aunt. She takes one look at the screen and sees me killing a pig. This is the conversation that happened. She says, what do you think you're playing? I say, nothing, just some Minecraft. She says, in what kind of heckish game do you kill a pig? I say, it doesn't even have any blood in the game. She says, I don't care, turn it off. When my cousin heard that, he began to protest. He said, no, you can't do this every time I have fun. It isn't even a violent game. She says, I don't care. You are grounded. I say, okay, aunt, we'll stop playing. I just turned off the console. That's what I thought. She said that with a smirk on her face. Later that day, we were on lunch and my aunt starts speaking to my mom. You know, OP was very rude to me today after he was playing a satanic game with my child. I want him to give his PS4 to us for compensation. Mom says, no, you are not getting his PS4 because you think Minecraft is a satanic game, you woman. No one will fall for your stupid tricks anymore. I told my mom everything earlier and this has happened before. Entitled Mother then goes to slap me and rushes out. I go along to see where she's going, and of course, she goes and tries to get my PS4, where I yell at her, which attracts my grandma, who you don't want to mess with. The conversation between aunt and grandma was so full of cuss words, I can't even remember it all. To sum it all up, my aunt was speechless and grandma was fuming. Aunt just packed up and left with my cousin. Do you feel bad for OP's cousin in this situation, knowing that their mom overreacts to things like this and also tries to basically steal from people? Let me know in the comments down below. Our next story is by X Jane Doe. Entitled mother thinks I should give my diabetic snacks to her daughter. So I'm a type 1 diabetic, and in the morning I went out for a bike ride. As I'm a diabetic, I always bring snacks with me in case I get low or get hungry. I bring a juice box, a few glucose tablets, two fruit chew bars, and two granola bars. Just enough for me to be able to correct my blood sugar twice and have a small snack. As I was biking home, I passed someone sitting on the ground who looked like they were kinda distressed, so I pulled over to ask if they were okay. The guy was a little younger than me and told me he was a diabetic and showed me his medic alert necklace. He explained that he had gone low while biking but forgot to refill the snacks in his bag when he had left, so he was trying to figure out what to do. No one to bring him anything and he didn't want to call an ambulance over this. I offered him my snacks and to sit with him while we waited for it to go back up, explaining that I was a diabetic. After I had sat down with him and gave him the tablets, a woman came over and asked for my juice box for her daughter. I explained that I was giving him what I had because he was a diabetic and had low blood sugar, and I needed the rest to ensure I could get home safe. She started to tell me that she and her daughter had been biking for a few hours and she was hungry and just wanted my juice box and a granola bar. I asked if her daughter was diabetic, and she said no. So I apologized and again explained nicely that I need those for myself. The conversation that followed is as such. So why did you give him some? I say because he's a diabetic and his blood sugar was very low. For reference, our blood sugar is supposed to be between 4 to 8 and his was 2.3. Do you know him? I say no, but as a diabetic, I know how dangerous lows can be and if I was in his position, I'd hope a fellow diabetic would try to help me. So you don't know him? 
The conversation continued like that, she asking why I cared if I didn't know him and me giving the same explanation. Until the guy rechecked his blood sugar and it was back up to 3.5. As this was still a little too low for both of us to feel comfortable, I grabbed my juice to give to him and this is when Entitled Mother tried to grab it out of my hand, saying that if his blood sugar was still low, I should just call an ambulance and then I could give my snacks to her and her daughter. At this point, I was honestly kind of pissed and told her to freak off, and that as a mom, she should have thought to brought snacks for her daughter, and if I hadn't gone by, what would she have done? She went red in the face, called me a witch, and stormed back to her daughter. The guy's levels went up and we parted ways, and as I started to bike away, I heard mom shout after me, calling me a witch again. What is this, the apocalypse? This sounds like starving homeless people trying to beat each other up to take the food or something. Who is this lady to lord over these people that are just trying to get their blood sugar levels up and stay consistently close enough that when they tried to give them the juice box, Entitled Mother could just try and snatch it? Feels like she was an annoying mosquito or something. Just kind of like pestering around, trying to steal from you, and constantly making annoying buzzy sounds. This next story is by Tiger Pawn. Entitled parents think son should be allowed to take a leak on my lawn because, well, you have dogs, right? Live in a duplex with friends, owners. One day, I see our neighbors and their kids are hanging out on our lawn and swinging from our tree. None of us invited them to hang out. Think nothing of it and I was working remotely so I didn't get a chance to say anything. Next day, they're back. Uninvited, just seemingly decided this was their new chill spot. So I'm watching from a distance and notice the mom take the older boy off the tree. He whispers something and she walks over to the dad to chat and PDA. Right then, kid whips it out, rainbows what had to be a gallon of whiz all over the tree trunk and patch of lawn. I instantly open the window and say, you know your son just urinated all over my lawn, right? because it seemed like he got an okay to do it. And sure enough, the entitled mom says, oh well, we're teaching him to pee on trees. Um, what? Well, this ain't the woods in some random tree or lawn. Her next reply, instead of sorry, is, well, you have dogs, right? Ma'am, are you comparing your son to a dog? And didn't you just leave your home three doors up? I finally say, he's not welcome to do that. Get off my lawn and don't swing from the tree again either. They leave in a huff as if I wasn't being neighborly to let their child start a habit of peeing on our lawn whenever he felt the need to go. It was bad enough they hadn't asked if they could hang around on the lawn, but then to make it like I was a jerk for wanting common courtesy annoyed the freak out of me. I would have taken an explanation that he really had to go, even though they just left their home three doors up. Or a simple, sorry, won't happen again, but her entitled reaction that he can just pee on our lawn because she said so really baffled me. Nah, get the freak out and never come back. The replies to this post are littered with comments of, get a hose or get a sprinkler. If you gotta use the hose, explain, hey, I use the hose to teach my dogs not to pee on the lawn. What's the difference? Our next story is by Ranger J2. Entitled parent gets mad at me and almost steals my sketchbook for not sharing my drawings with her daughter. Little background information, I take my sketchbook and pencil almost anywhere and I make sure to keep them safe. I still have a little self-esteem problem so I usually don't share it with anyone unless I want to. So I'm sitting in the park on a bench near a little playground drawing trees since I suck at them. Then this little girl comes up to me, she's the entitled kid. She says, are you drawing? I say, yeah, I'm drawing trees. The entitled kid looks at my sketchbook, but I close it. I say, oh, I'm sorry, but I don't share my drawings unless I want to. I don't really like showing them to people. She says, I promise I'll like it. I say, still no, I don't want to. Then the entitled kid goes back to the playground, visibly disappointed. But I didn't really think it was going to be a problem, since I explained to her nicely I didn't like showing my drawings. Boy was I wrong. The entitled mother walks up to me, and I immediately knew it was a Karen. She didn't really have the hair cut for it, but I could sense the entitled vibes from the other side of the playground. 
She says, excuse me, could you not? I, confused, say, I'm sorry, what am I doing? I notice the same girl as earlier standing behind her. I explain to your daughter that I didn't want to share my drawings. Could you please leave me alone? She says, I know what you're doing. You're a little creep drawing kids at the playground. Why would you otherwise not share it? Me, mad as heck. Excuse me? I'm not drawing your kid. I'm just drawing trees since I need to get better at drawing them. I can show you if you want to. I show her the pages of my sketchbook, but she takes it out of my hands and starts turning the pages like a maniac. She almost ripped a few pages out of it. Well, go draw somewhere else. This is a kid's playground and you're making them feel unsafe. Entitled Kid grins at me. I say, this is a public park. I go here almost every week to draw and no one has complained. She says, well, I'm an adult and you're still a dumb teen. I'm 13, but I look younger. So I'm quite sure it's a law that you have to listen to me. Then a man notices Entitled Mother shouting and walks up to us. Finally, I'm saved. Helpful man says, what's going on? The Entitled Mother says, this person was shouting at me for taking my kid here while this is a public park and then took my kid's sketchbook. Entitled Kid is playing along, talking about how she was drawing trees when I took her sketchbook and ran. The Entitled Mother says, but we'll be going now since we don't want to cause any trouble. She takes my sketchbook and walks away. I say, hey, that's mine, give it back. Entitled Mother ignores me and walks out of the park, speed walking and mumbling something about ice cream to her daughter. I start to get hopeless but keep going after her. The helpful man notices how upset I am and blocks her way. He says, this is not your sketchbook. It's obvious that OP's upset about you taking the sketchbook and I'm quite sure I've seen them with a sketchbook like this one as well. The Entitled Mother says, this is not fair. Why does everyone blame the victim? The only reason I did this is because OP wouldn't share their drawings. She wants to become an artist too, but OP's trying to block her path to success. Proceeds to rant about how her kid is very talented and that they need this sketchbook. The helpful man says, that's still stealing. Takes the sketchbook from Entitled Mother and gives it back to me. You shouldn't lie like that. You should think about others before you do something. Entitled Mother walks away, knowing her mission failed. I thank the man, and he talks about how he comes here often to fish, so that if there's any problem, he'll be there most likely. I do see Entitled Mother while shopping once in a while, but she just gives me a foul look and ignores me. Entitled Kid, however, started bothering other kids in the playground telling them about how they'll always be better than them and how she'll beat them up if they don't do what she says. She looked around 10 by the way. Boy, do I wonder where she learned that from. Entitled Kid became that one kid who was never invited to play dates because the other kid's parents would never agree to it. Yeah, I definitely think we all know those bossy people. Unfortunately, they were more than likely raised by narcissists and people that just act ugly and instill these awful behaviors in these children. The fact that they didn't even have anything to truly gain from stealing that sketchbook. They just took it because they wanted to, I don't know, get one up on OP, make them feel bad, get some kind of a win in Entitled Mother's head. It's more than disappointing to say the least. But with that being said, that's all the time we have for today. So if you have a favorite story of the day, let me know which story and why in the comments down below. But besides that, if you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like. And if you haven't, subscribe and turn notifications on so you'll never miss an upcoming video. No matter what you do, whether it's just viewing the video, liking, subscribing, turning notifications on, I appreciate the heck out of it. Every little thing that you do helps the channel grow that much more and I can't thank you enough for it. So until next time, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll be right here next time on the Storytime channel.